today we're going to be making a Solix troll sign shirt. And I know, I, I mean, I would use transfer paper, but I don't have a printer. And so I'm going to do it the old fashioned way with fabric paint. And so first, I'm, I'm just going to show you the supplies, I guess. You're going to need like a piece of uh, printer paper and some kind of cardboard. I just so happen to only have this and uh, a bunch of other really weird quotes on cardboard. So, yeah. This, and then you're going to need, yeah, a t-shirt and fabric paint of the color of the troll you're doing. Um, and that's, I guess, basically it. So, we're just going to get to it. This is optional to get a more exact look. But what I did is take some type of tablet or big screen. What I just happen to have is an iPad. And took a piece of to paper and traced it. And you could freehand it, but to get a more accurate thing, that's just what I did. Okay, so now you're going to want to cut just the middle bit out. And so, to get to the middle, I took some scissors. And sorry if you're not mentioning this, but you need scissors as well. And I folded it. If you can see this. And just cut like that. And you make a hole that you can now slip your scissors into. No pun intended. And cut. I will of course spare you the entire process of me cutting this entire thing out. But make sure that you don't go outside of the lines and if you do try and just even it out so it looks fine. Also, stuff your cardboard inside the shirt. That way you have a flat surface to work off of. What you're going to want to do is first outline it with regular fiber print and then mix some of that, or at least what I did is mix some of that with just regular acrylic paint and uh, put that in the middle. Right now, it's a bit messy and thin coated, but I'm just going to keep adding layers. I even resorted to finger, like using my fingers, like finger painting. But yeah, that's just the progress so far. After a couple layers and however long I'm drawing, it should be good. It's now the next day, and I added a few more layers, and this time I added a more fabric paint than I would uh, regular paint so it will actually really stay and it is a bit messy at parts but after maybe a bit of touching up and uh, waiting it should be good and I should be done so yeah I'm wearing it so you can know what it looks like I'm pretty happy with it I'm not sure what will happen if I wash it I would guess that it would stay on because it's fabric paint, but hopefully it won't get dirty enough as to I have to wash it. But yeah, I like it. I hope, and it's pretty inexpensive too, it doesn't cost a lot. So, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh. I think it's a fairly short video. I haven't looked at the... I haven't put it together yet, so I don't know. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. And see you next video.